Hello, welcome back to another video on one of my favorite magazine. Uh, I bought this magazine recently. I know about uh, the work of Jose Gonzalez inside, but I was not aware of the other authors that was involved in this issue and it quickly became one of my favorite magazine uh, after I flipped through it the first time, but let's take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous cover right here. A very nice book, okay? beautiful book. Most of the flaws are, of course, on the back cover because it has a a black back cover, so you see some spine wear there. But I love this. Look at this. I love black and white, but sometimes adding just one color can just make it pop even more as, it, as in this issue. Let's jump right to it. Let's just check it out. Just look at the detail. For those that uh, have not seen my author spotlight on Jose Gonzalez, so I will provide a link, okay, below, because I think you will enjoy those videos if you have never seen them. Just look at this beautiful drawing on the horses. Hell from on high.
Okay, so that's the end of the first one, and here is a second story which was a pleasant surprise for me. I was not aware of Astaban Maroto, one of my other favorite black and white magazine artists. So this was a treat. Just take a look at that. And this, the artwork on this second story is even more beautiful than the previous story by Jose. I'm such a big fan of Esteban. Just beautiful. Look at that. Stay at that panel for a while. Beautiful, look at that. Unbelievable amount of detail and craftsmanship that go into these pages. Just look at that. Beautiful. What do you think? Just look at that. The amount of effort that's put on the simpler things that just, it's nothing simple about nothing, nothing simple about it. By what I by that I mean, you know, it's it may be a simple object, but the amount of details and attention that Esteban put in the drawing just make everything look so beautiful. And then you have this treat. An exclusive eight page preview in color. Look at this. I love black and white magazine, but these pages are a treat to look at. Just look. This is just breathtaking, beautiful. I let you stay at this for a while. Now you can see why 
this magazine quickly vault into my one of my favorite magazine list. I already flipped through this book three times since I bought it last week. Unbelievable. Just look at this page and the panel layout. Incredible. And then you have another story, the third story, by Jose Bia, B or Bay, I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. Another one of those uh, not well known artists that does a lot of work in horror magazine. Just look at the quality of the the work here. It's beautiful. So far you have three artists with very different style. Just look at the details on this panel. There is one more story, another short story after this one by another artist that, you know, round out the, this magazine is one of the best one that I have seen as far as Vampirella with four awesome artists in four different stories. Here we go. I'm not very familiar with Aura Leon, Aura Leon, but my God, I was pretty satisfied with the previous three story, but to have this one as well. Unbelievable. Okay, that's all I had to say. Love it. Absolutely love it. Just look at the hair. Just the details.
And that's it. What do you think? I love it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.